hi guys after a long time i am uh, preparing this session uh, this session is mainly uh, for the comparison of about plant joints and their well joints okay as a quality inspector we should focusing uh, we give more importance to both of the joints not for only the flange joints or not for only the welded joints both of them will be very very important so uh, first one we have to select the proper tools proper materials and the proper person of the technician for this activities both the flange joints and the welded joints first one uh, for the flange joints uh, we have to select the proper tools with calibrated a torque range and we are using for uh, hydraulic torquing we have to check the calibration of the equipment okay for uh, regarding about this welded joints we have uh, to check the calibration of the um, welding equipments huh? welding equipments what are the welding equipments we are using that should be we have to check before the start of the welding uh, and for this flange joints second point for the flange joints we will um, select select not to select we have to check the um, id code of the flange technician if he is qualified or not then same case for the welder he uh, is qualified as per section 9 he is uh, uh, qualified for this job this is uh, regarding for thickness uh, process what are the essential variables of the welders it should be uh, all mentioned in the welder id card that should be you have to check before the start of the welding okay then for uh, welded joints mainly we have to uh, covering as a proper weld boot for shielding okay for uh, this one for flange joints it is not necessary to cover the um, uh, we have to make a, a shielding anything else but in one case all of you don't know that case um for o2 cleaned so o2 clean we will prepare another slides uh, in brief for the o2 clean services as a pure o2 services we should cover the uh, uh, flange joints way out to tightening that area should be um, free from the dust everything we have to free okay so be prepared of that one for mainly for the o2 services okay uh, then for the flange joints, uh, we have to using the consumables, bolts, proper bolt, B7, B8, and nuts, uh, 2H, uh, 8M, like that, uh, L7 bolts, like that. What are the you know, specifications we have to, as per the ratings, we have to check and uh, use that gaskets, spiral gaskets, uh, more commonly used for these flange joints. For the welded joints, we are using the filler wires and the electrodes are the main thing. For SMW and GTW processes, mainly used in the oil, oil refineries and the gas uh, plants, everything. Okay, so we will focusing about this two welding process. Okay, then, then uh, during the welding process, we have to check the uh, parameters, welding parameters. What are the welding parameters? Current voltage. Uh, then the travel speed to be we have to monitor using the clamp meter okay now uh, the wps we are uh, um, prepared uh, that will be used by the welders now for soundness welding that should be followed um, the parameter should be within the limit okay uh, we have to control the heat input as for the flange joints we will monitor during the talking time we will monitor the value the, the flange technician using the torque range you know we have to uh, they pre before that they uh, checking the uh, torque value it's 30 percentage 60 percentage and 100 percentage we have to tighten step by step not 100 percentage at one time we make the flange joints tightening with step by step with crisscross pattern of this um, bolt torque that is must we have to alternate the bolts we have to tightening there is a crisscross pattern is there that should be we have to follow then for the flange joints final flange joints we have to uh, check the leakage by using the pressure testing hydro or pneumatic test we will use 
is the proper tightening or any way the final torquing will be checked by the QC inspector now then we have to uh, go through the pressure testing if any no leakages no everything will be perfect then we will joint will be flange joint will be okay for this weld joints we will go number of NDT methods there are more number of NDT methods all of you know first one is visual inspection and for the surface defects we have to make visual inspection inspection activities then PT that is also for surface inspection activities any defects in the surface then MPT subsurface defects then permanent records uh, NDT methods what are the volumetric uh, UT is now advanced is PAUT phase star AUT and uh, radiography is used to um, know the quality of the weld if there is no uh, defects everything it is perfect the weld design will be accepted it's a basic thing okay if any doubt in the flange joints and the weld joints if, uh, if all of you know the, these points you have to remember what are the things we have to check it out as the uh, main important things and flange management I will take a separate session for that one okay uh, for mainly for another one guys I forgot that one mainly we have to check the alignment of the flange joints parallelism then um, uh, offset whole offset that all should be uh, we have to follow the yes me pcc standard pcc standard we have to follow what is the acceptance limit we have to follow that one for the well designs we all of you know that one uh, section 9 or ap 31.3 what are the uh, values the uh, acceptance limits we should follow the limit for b 31.3 there is a uh, one table is there process piping uh, that should be i forgot that number 330.3.2 mm, i think so that should be you have to follow okay what are the acceptance limit uh, we have to follow and make it perfect okay and both joints will be more more very 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 important flange joints and weld joints thank you